I see is somebody who wants to make their life count, make their life work. I, I don't see what you see. But I understand why you see what you see because of all that baggage that we carry with us. And I said to him, I said, you know, you get the choice to believe whether you're ugly or whether you choose to believe whether you're handsome and beautiful and attractive. And I realized that that might take some time in your life. But you need to surround yourself with people who are going to tell you you're beautiful and you're attractive and you're lovely and you're blessed and you're holy and you're perfect. But sisters and brothers, how many of us choose to stay in the environment that tell us that we're nasty and wicked and awful instead of choosing to live in a place where people love us and people count on us and people believe in us? And I, and I understand that because sometimes those very places are the places that we feel most comfortable, usually around family and friends. But I want to tell you, sometimes we have to choose who our family are. And I've lived in a life now where my family of choice is often much, much better than my family of origin. Because my family of choice know me as the person that I am today and don't treat me like the person that I was when I was 10, 12, 14 and a rebellious little son of a what's it. <laughs> it's time to make a fresh start and to live in the day just as God did. And just as Jesus invites us to this morning, to live in the now, we can't help what we did in the past. You know, we, we might try and go back and fix some of it. We might try and go back and say sorry to folks. We might try and go back and forgive ourselves. But, you know, ultimately, we can't undo what we did yesterday. We can only learn from those experiences and bring them into the now. Bring them into the present Bring them into this moment so that we become the full human beings that God expects us to be. To become the grown-up adults that we've been called to be. And to become the leaders in our world so that people around us, the young and the old and all those in between, get role models that they can see that people can work it. And work it to the place where we can feel whole and holy about ourselves. Over the next four weeks, we're going to be unpacking this just a little bit more, so you need to come back and to catch up with the next edition. It's a series. That's why we don't give you everything in one go. <laughs> but my prayer is for all of us is that we might step into this journey today to make a commitment to have a fresh start today, to be baptized today, to die to the old, and to rise again as a new creation, no more in condemnation, but a child of God in our own right, knowing that as a child of God, all things are possible. May the God of grace that I know created you be the God of grace that just bathes you in a sense and awe of love this morning. And may God's blessing always be upon us. Let us pray. Sovereign and loving God, thank you that I get to wake up this morning and declare a new day. Thank you that I get to wake up this morning and declare a fresh start. Thank you that I get up this morning and say, you know, I can't do anything about yesterday, but I can go into today with a new set of eyes and a new perspective and a fresh start. And that invitation is not just for me, but is for each and every one of us. Thank you for the example of God who right at the very beginning of creation did things one day at a time. No regrets about yesterday, no forecasts about tomorrow, but in the day God lived. And it's in that day that God invites us this morning. So I pray that between sunrise and sunset, each and every one of us may take our own responsibility and our own accountability to live in the day and to become the very best that we can be. And if there's healing needed along the way for us of past hurts or past regrets, let's deal with those things. But help us not to let them have power over who we are today. Create in us a new spirit, a fresh start, a new beginning. 
Now, God, I pray that you would bless the words that have come from my mouth. May they refresh us and renew us and give to us, those of us who are struggling to make the decision to have that fresh start, help help us to make that decision today to do it because we will become more like you because of it. May the God of grace now take the words that have come from my mouth and may they fix in us and grow in us and develop in us and ultimately lead us to God's way. I pray all these things in the name of all that is holy, but with my brother, Jesus. Amen. Amen. too late for a fresh start. Every day is a new day. Every day we have choices, new choices to make, living one day at a time. In my 12-step program, the third step goes, we made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. Isn't it great that we come here to this place where we can grow in our understanding of God? And isn't, isn't it great that we come to this place every Sunday where we can grow in our knowledge and our practice of how to turn our will and our lives over to God? And that isn't just, okay, I did it, I came to church, I said my prayers, and now I can like go screeching down the freeway yelling at everybody around me because they're not going fast enough. <clears throat> it takes a little faith not to take that back. It takes faith that once you turn that over, God is going to open up doors for you. If you just listen to that voice and do what God tells you to do and not do something that God hasn't told you to do, sometimes there's time for action, there's time for inaction. And we know that God has laid the path for us. Even though we can't see it, we walk in faith, and we know that everything's going to be okay.